In this video, we're going to show you how to create a custom landing page around your listing. The reason this is important is many MLSs, the second it goes pending or under contract, may remove the listing from your website. So a great way to use a listing landing page is the ability that it will stay with you and you can keep capturing leads on it. This will work as well for coming soon listings. So you can create a listing page around this and it will stay around forever for you to generate more leads for this. So first thing we're going to do is come to consumer in the lower right hand corner and we're going to click on create new site. And we want to create a standalone page. A standalone page means it's not part of your website, it's just its own web page to capture leads and do what you need to. So we're going to say as a standalone page, create page. Now I've already done this once, but I want to show you what I did. So we're going to put in the address. That way I know which one it is. And this one will be the second one. So I'll put a date. Perfect. So on the right hand side, you're going to have these widgets. Now widgets could be your agent branding, branded header, legal footer, all that kind of stuff. I like to actually just go right to the listing because that's what people want the most. Now when I put in the listing here, it's not configured yet. So don't panic when you see Austin, Texas. This is a placeholder. We're going to configure it here in the lower right hand corner in a moment, but I want to capture the rest of this page. So this is going to have a nice little description at the top, cute little icons about how many bedrooms and bath, some photos that they can go through, all the details from the MLS, and even the map down below. So what I want to do is bring in some extra content. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in your local expert, which is about me, and I'm dragging it to the bottom. Now this auto populated and we're going to have to make some tweaks to it, but it is great to have that at the bottom. Um, I know I definitely want to make sure that I capture some information. So I'm going to add a lead form here and I'm actually thinking this would be good to have a market snap so I can throw in what's happening in this specific neighborhood as well. What a great way to enhance the listing in this property. So those are the main widgets I'm going to use. You've also got the option to add a video, uh, capture testimonials if you need to. There's several things you can do. You can also come to content blocks and add your own images and text. So I'm ready to actually configure these widgets and I'm gonna say configure widgets. Now it's gonna take me through the four widgets I need to configure. So we're gonna start with listing and I'm gonna browse for the listing. Now, if you're coming soon, if you put it in the KBLS, it may come over, I can't promise it. Um, I know some MLSs do not syndicate a coming soon out to the public. So I can search here by property address, MLS number and KBLS ID. For this example, when I was searching for property address because there's no filter here, it was searching for every status available, not just active. So what I found was fastest was to go get the listing off my website. Here it is. Copy the MLS number or you can get it from your MLS. And then I'm going to switch this to MLS number, populate and search. Don't worry that it says photo not available. They are working on this right now. So I'm going to select this listing. And this is going to show me what do you want your header image to be or upload your own custom image. So I've got tons of great images here. I actually like to showcase the pool and the shower. Actually, I might use this one. I'm going to hit save and apply. And voila, I've got the photo of the home here. I've got the information and it auto populated from the MLS. Now you're just picking the image. This data comes from the MLS. It's a lead capture page. They're going to see the details they need to and learn more information about this. So that's all you're really choosing in this is choosing the image you want to use for the top and then you save and apply that one. So I'm going to hit save and apply and go to my next widget here in the right hand corner, market snap. Now this one is located in the subdivision of the corals in Oakland Park. Three, 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 four. There we go. And the corals in Oakland Park is right there for this neighborhood. Save and apply. And now I've got my widget of the listing, prop the property, explore this specific neighborhood, and my interested let's talk. So I'm going to click the next button, my lead form. It just says interested let's talk. I kind of want to use a phrase of looking to buy or sell schedule a free consultation via video or in person with one of our real estate consultants. OK, 
Okay, I've got that. Save and apply. Now I've applied that text. Here it is. Click the next button. This says my information down below. Here's all this. And this is where I found a little snag that we're working on. And I had to go get my app link, which I have here. You can find it under the consumer tab. And you can actually come to site and app settings, URLs to get it as well. And I'm going to paste that here. There we go. And then it needs a legal footer. If you have something special for your state, go ahead and put that in. But I've learned that I just need this simple text here and that's all I need in my state. So just the currently owned and operated, independently owned and operated. Save and apply. Now my text for my bio is too long, so I'm just gonna cut out a section of it. There we go. Save and apply. You can modify that just to be for that neighborhood. Like, hi, I'm the local expert in this neighborhood specifically. And that way this landing page will have its own private information. Save and apply there. I've got it all applied. Now I'm ready to publish this page out to the public. Are you sure you don't wanna make this visible to others? I'm gonna say yes. And now I've got my landing page that I can go to. So this is the link for the landing page. And anyone can come here, no matter if it is live on the MLS, if it's coming soon, pending, sold, you can do one for sold and it will not go away. This is the power of creating a landing page for your listing so you're not tied to the MLS being active under contract and all that, which would sometimes remove it from your website. This has all the information I need on it, exploring this specific neighborhood, schedule an appointment with me, download my app, it's all here, ready to go. And what's even better is if I actually come in here and let's say I was creating a campaign. What's great is if I was running a Facebook ad and I came in here and went to my actual buttons, choose a landing page, and I'll be able to scroll to the bottom to see my oldest one. And here's that one we just created, which means now if anyone were to go on here, they can fill out a form and then be taken to the listing page. Now, you don't have to do lead capture, by the way, on that one if I use Facebook's lead capture. So what I might do is just still use this page, but I'm not forcing anybody to register once they get to the page itself. And that's it. That's how you can create a beautiful landing page, ready to go, use it whenever you want. Doesn't matter if it's the status of it in the MLS, and you can create some information to give them information, and you can leverage that to generate leads through command, running a Facebook ad and choosing your landing page right here to put it out there. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KDB Connect and YouTube today.